Yeah. Anyway, the main event of the show, Conor McGregor was beaten by Dustin Poirier two minutes and 32 seconds of the second round. First time Conor McGregor has ever lost via knockout or TKO. And he actually looked fine in the first round. He won the first round. He 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 goes he got he lost by TKO to Floyd Mayweather. I wasn't counting that one in MMA. But anyway, okay. the second round, he started getting taken apart by these leg kicks, and you could just see that his mobility was gone, his shin is all swollen up, and finally Poye pins him up against a fence and just unloaded on this dude and finished him. So they are now one and one. And Poye basically said, you know, maybe we could do it again, which I'm sure for his pocketbook, he'd love to do it again. Yeah. And Connor was gracious. He basically blamed it on the time off, said that mm. inactivity is going to kill you. Well, I want to fight again this year. This inactivity is no good. And let me tell you something. For a guy like Connor McGregor, inactivity is no good for this guy. All he does is get in trouble. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I mean, that's true. In- inactivity isn't good. But, you know, when you... When you do what Connor does, your chin goes young, and um, I think that was because I I believe that the old Connor McGregor would survive that, and this Connor McGregor didn't survive it. Um, I don't know that he would have won because in the long run, um, his leg you know, was being his, his, le- his leg was going to be beaten up either way if he didn't have any way to block the leg kick, you know. Um, but maybe he would have taken Poye out earlier, so who knows? But. Um, you know, it it was pretty clear that he's not as fast as he used to be, even before the, his leg was taken out. I mean, you could, it was definitely not. I mean, he was still he was still a good fighter, and he won the first round. But this was not the Conor McGregor of of three years ago in any way. Um, the 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 timing wasn't there. Um, the movement wasn't there. Um, but you know, and but that's what happens when you get rich and develop bad problems. Um, you know, I mean, it's that it's in, but, but you know, the inactivity is what, what did him in, but, um, you know, it's, it's what happened. I mean, I don't see him, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, you know, it, it, it's just, it was a strategic thing. You know, it's like the, the, you know, if, if Poirier would have just boxed with him, he probably would have, um, I don't say he probably would have lost because if he'd gotten Connor in the third round, who the hell knows? You know, because who's, you know, again, we didn't really get to see if Connor has stamina, just like with the fight with Cerrone, we really didn't get to see it. In this case, he just couldn't stand anymore and, and he got clocked. But his chin's not what it used to be. Because, I mean, I remember when Chad Mendez was like landing these bombs that were knocking people out and Connor just stood there and couldn't, he wouldn't even move. And, and, you know, with Poirier, who probably is a little bit bigger and a little harder hitter, he just, he flattened him. So it's, it's, you know, the effects of of everything that uh, that happened, um, you know, po- Poirier, you know, came off like a real superstar, super likable guy, and um, he did. Was, but it, at the same time, like if I'm Khabib, I don't know if I come back for Poirier. Well, he's not coming back. I mean, that was Dana White all but said that at the end. He said that like, um, you know, Khabib told him I'm at a different level than all these guys. Um, so Dana figures that he's now retired. So now tough to figure out what to do with the championship, obviously. So so um Poirier, you know, Dana wanted to do Poirier with Chandler, which makes sense because Michael Chandler looked great in, the, in his fight uh tonight. And Poirier said that he thinks he's the real champion and that Chandler should have to face Charles Oliveira and then the winner fights him. So that's where which is not a bad fight. I wouldn't mind seeing Chandler against Charles Oliveira. I think that's a great fight. Um, and, um, but, you know, poor, you know, you could throw like, you could do a tournament. You could throw Justin Gaethje in, do a four man tournament. Well, um, I mean, how does this probably sounds like a stupid question, but if Khabib does not come back, I mean, shouldn't Poye be the champion as he said he should be? Um, why? Well, he she said, I've got the, the interim title, the champion's gone. Well, he's not interim champion anymore. He lost a he lost he lost he lost to Khabib. Well, what the hell is this guy talking about then? Um, because he, like, he thinks he thinks he beat Connor, so he's the so he's the champion. Yeah, but he mentioned his promo like he had the interim title at home, like he was still the interim champion. Khabib beat him. I don't know what he's talking about then. Well, you got to do something then. Okay, so I think he thinks that Khabib already retired, so this should have been the title fight. So by winning this, he's the he's the real champion. I see. Which which could have been. I mean, if if. You know, when Khabib retired, the logical championship fight was 
this fight, except Dana didn't strip the title from Khabib because he thought he was going to bring him back, which he's not, you know, I mean, most likely. Um, you know, who who knows, you know, who knows if, if Khabib, you know, and again. And probably many- should have been in, I, I hate these interim titles, I can't remember who has what, but you could have made this an interim championship match, and then if Khabib retires, then the winner of this is the champion. Yeah, absolutely. You could have, but they didn't. And I don't know why, because, I mean, I thought this should have been the cha- a championship fight to begin with once Khabib retired. But he's not the champion. I think that, you know, um, they could do a tournament, you know, with um, those three and um, um, Justin Gaethje. I Actually, think. you know why I think they may not have made it an interim title fight? Because if they make this an interim title fight and Connor wins and Khabib has no interest in facing Connor again, then you've got a problem. No, Connor, the interim champion becomes the champion. You don't really have a problem. Well, I mean, if Khabib still wants to fight, but he doesn't want to fight Connor. Mm, yeah, I guess that could be a problem. I suppose that could be. Um, One way or the other, we don't have a champion right now. No, I'd, I'd like to see, but like I said, you know, and I don't care how they mix and match the fights. I'd like to see these, you know, those guys. Um in some sort of a, a thing. You know, they never like to do tournaments. They usually like to do one fight. But I, I would like to see, like, a, a four-man tournament with those four guys. And, um, you know, they'll, they would probably try to get Con- uh, Connor in there, actually, um, into the tournament. Um, and whatever. You know what? I mean, if you put Connor against Justin Gaethje and, um, and Michael Chandler against Poirier, you know, that's fine, too. And Oliveira can be... Uh, you know, ready to face the winner at some point. I mean, or you know, I I I can't see them doing an eight man. I mean, you could do an eight man. There there are guys you could do it with, but they're not gonna. Um, I mean, you know, and and also we've seen with Bellator these eight mans can take forever because guys get hurt. But the four man, the four man, I think makes makes sense. But they won't do it. You know, I mean, it it will end up being um, Poirier against whoever they can get Poirier to agree to face. Um, you know, that's probably where it's going to end up. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.